Hello fellow Fallout fans, welcome to Starlight Driving. This build is a no mods build, but it does contain some Creation Club content. Uh, I've come back to the game after eight years and a lot of the Creation Club is uh, on discount. Um, I've spent £8.99 on the Ambush Settlement Kit, the Home Decal Kit and the Slocum Joe's Kit. Uh, I haven't used the Ambush Settlement Kit yet, but you will see some of the other stuff in this build. Um, let's have a look around. So we've got the human entrance and the wide load entrance for the uh, robots and the caravans, but we're humans, so we'll we're going this way. So first of all, on our right, we've got the bar area. A couple of bars glitched into the main area. some good amount of seating for the settlers don't get too rowdy in the bar the security will grab you and they might even take you to the police station so in here security station to uh, watch who comes in and out repair their gear do a bit of office work Upstairs we've got their quarters, simple, come and rest, maybe sit out and have a cup of tea and look out over the complex. You too, but no, I'm busy at the moment. Uh, side door into the police station. Is the Starlight Police Station? Not too busy in here at the moment. But we've got our interview room there on the left, and uh, through to the uh, cell area. Dump your gear in there, your bags or your, your mobile phones, not allowed in there. And then come through and see the prisoners. Well, as you can see, it's empty, so everyone's uh, well behaved. Ooh. Lock yourself in, gloves. Yeah, everyone's well behaved at the moment, everyone's nice and happy. Well, it's not even at his desk. Liberty. I don't know where he is. We'll have a go at him later. Oh, well, there he is. Look, he's been for a donut. Typical copper. Got work to do. Where, well, well, you, yeah. You've been in the donut shop. Go on, get back to your station. <laughs> so, yeah, look. We've got all our settlers and caravanners over here. Power station in the middle because you've got to do something with that hole. Well, he's going back for another donut. He obviously liked it. So damn hungry. <laughs> so they've come in here. Got a donut shop. Out here, we gotta take things one day at a time. Beat ya. Have you tried this? Oh man. Woo. He's taking liberties now, and they look. Oh, that's why there's no prisoners in that scenario because they've all escaped. He's in here eating all the donuts. Anyway, carry on with the tour, loves. Um, yeah. Hair salon, least favourite building of the whole complex, but you know, got to fit something in that gap. Stop the raiders running through. That's where you come and get your Commonwealth air cup. Alright, let's leave the centre for a minute and go up around the back. Attend to the graves. Let's go and have a look. But it's something. 
I was trying to make out it was a grave area and you've just grasped me up. Okay, so I put the farm here because uh, it has to go somewhere. So yeah, into the church. We'll make a penance for the lies I just told. This is uh, commemorating those that fell when the bombs dropped. I'm going to give you salmon. Yeah. That's the church. They're cosy. Mm. Alright, let's go around the back. I can patch you up if you need it. Alright, Doc. Small fee, of course. Oh, I'm a bit skint at the minute. I'm just having a look inside. I'm looking from here because I'm going to have to barge him out of the way if, if I... Let me try. Let's try. So he's not going to let me in. He's a doctor and a bouncer. But if I pay him, he'll let me in there. But I can't, I'm not doing all that now. Anyone about? No. Right, I'll go in my house. As you know, if you watch any of my other videos, my gaff is always nice. Oh, yeah, I mean, I think it's nice. You might not. Private toilet. Little seating area. Fag machine, very important. And their bedroom. Oh, I'll turn the lights off this time. But at all. Some toilets for the settlers. Starlight autos. It goes out to the front. You open up the door and there uh, yeah, you can get in that you can obviously come in and out. We won't go out there because the trouble's brewing. Right into the flats. There's some Creation Club content. Bit of these walls make your life a little bit easier. Well, sometimes they can be a bit pain in, in the backside to snap. But so yeah, lounge area for settlers, bedrooms. This is Creation Club content. Bunk beds. Andy. Right. Get a bathroom. What a bathroom that is, lovely. And a nice little kitchen. Would you look out over the place? Right, go upstairs to the penthouse. A bit more Creation Club content coming here. Let's have a look around. Hi, hi. Now that is a Commonwealth apartment worth paying for. Beautiful kitchen. With a nice view. Through to the bedroom. Tell me you're not paying top dollar for this place in the Commonwealth. If you've got to have some little illegal cap farm going on to afford this gap, I'm sure. Anyway, on we go. Look at it. Oh, I think I'd like to live here myself. Right, down we go. Let's go around the back alley, past the uh, power substation started all the building just to get that unit there that's what made me go to the vault 
That's what made me run across the automatron thing on the way and ruined everything. That's a story for later. So yeah, here we go. Up to the Starlight Ranch. Come here for a half hour. Off. For a bit of love. Hello. Okay, that's the Starlight Ranch. Not too sleazy. farm area look at this a nice cereal starlight sellers all nicely dressed look nice and neat and tidy no reason not to be a mess here because everything's on hand all right starlight robotics let's go anything you want built we build it anything you want repaired we repair it Enclave Power Armour, came with the 2024 Next Gen Update. Automatron. Ugh. So yeah, this is where you come and speak to the guy that runs the gaff. And he will uh, repair anything you want repaired. This is where he lives. That's all his gear. We've got some ramps here so that the fat robots can get down there easy enough. Alright. Well, before we go up to the factory and the shops, I came back here and all the uh, settlers had disappeared. And it transpired because one of them was a robot, I could hear him through the concrete, and they were all stuck in these walls. So what I ended up doing was taking all the walls out so that they could move for a start. And then thought, well, okay, let's put the beds there. If they want to come here all the time, I'll let them come here all the time. <laughs> and so, yeah. There's a... Uh, slamming area so one piece seating there's your two p hangovers now in the victorian times you pay an extra penny you could uh sit hanging over a rope rather than just sitting on a chair lovely and then if you had the big money you could get four p you could get yourself a bed but yeah slum but pretty cool Yeah, plenty of beds because for some reason that's where they all like to go uh, until it's night time and then they all like to come up here gambling in the slots let's go let's have a quick look start out slots very simple like little bet fred or whatever it's called bosh but they all come in there at night Okay, this is what started everything off at this location. Starlight, click and collect. See, that's how you actually spell it. But anyway, carry on. I'll show you out the storage room out the back. So, yeah. Start like click and collect, come in here, and uh, if anything you want, order it on the machine, and then uh, select it. Want some ammo, want some clothes, and then you go out there, have yourself a donut, and come back here, or a drink in the bar over there, maybe. 
and then you come back here and you collect what you've uh, what you've ordered. Yeah. I that. Thanks. So I'll click and collect in the store. And thanks to that, obviously we needed a whole factory. So let's go and have a look around. Staff room for our fridge come with a home decor kit. You see? I mean it's gotta be worth spending what one pound ninety nine or one pound seventy nine or whatever it was to get a fridge. Come on. And that's not a mod, is it, really? It's not gonna crash my game. A fridge. So uh Alright, staff, up to work. Second floor. Oh, there's a hopper gear drops down there. Third floor. Whatever. So yeah, all the stuff uh, gets sucked out through the hoppers out of the cabinets into the machines. The machines activate the hopper. The hopper activates the belt. The belt activates the machine. Ah, it all works. It's fantastic. Uh, you can go up and down the stairs at this level. This is manager level. We can stay in the lifts. Let's go up in the lift. Well, missed it. So, here we are. This is a factory manager's place. Go to the loo before you go and see him. Come in, have a word with his secretary. Have a seat. Wait for him to call you through. Here he is. I don't know where he is now. but That might have been him down in the slums. But here's the manager's office simple and if he's in a good mood he'll take you out here have a bit of afternoon tea sit down and have a view over the place and yeah you can you can walk down into the factory and have a look in the factory and you can come up here and have a look now I was intended to fill this all out as well but it started stuttering it. I'm, I'm at the limit of five times. It would be six times if I built anything else. So I'm calling it five times. But, but yeah, I'm going to fill that out. And then I have a launch pad up here for the uh, quick way down for the power armor. So yeah, there is the factory. I think we should go back down. Look around at night. And that is pretty much Starlight Driving. Weather's fine, we don't need to change it. But it's always nice to have a firework. Hey. Somewhere to sit for the guards. Perimeter of fencing and walkways all around. I didn't show you all of that, but you know, I thought it's pretty boring, isn't it? But you don't really need to see that. Walkways, fences. Ooh. 
there's a thousand lights up in there and some spotlights, but you know, as with every, all the lighting in this game, rubbish. Place gets a little bit better after dark, and soon they'll all disappear and they'll all go up into that slot machine's place up there. But yeah, that's it. That's Starlight Driving. Hope you liked it. Uh, anything you like, anything, uh, any questions you got, you want to know how I did it? Uh, like the electric or maybe uh, the factory so that the power doesn't flow back on itself and things, logic gates, all of that sort of stuff. Any questions, I'm happy to answer. But that is my Starlight Driving. Well, quickly before I sign off, let me just give you one tip. This build was going to be entirely different. It was going to be all the cars lined up as they're actually driving. And I pushed all of the cars, you know, from everywhere, uh, you know, all the way from Concord, every car. Every, I had so many cars in here, it was a joke. But the Automatron quest line, as soon as you start doing it, you get, um, what are they called? I can't remember, Rust Devils. And they start attacking you all the time. And uh, I came back here one day and the Rust Devils attacked and the explosion was epic. But um, yeah, it totally changed the whole of the, the build because the, all the cars were now destroyed. It's a similar thing happened with my Red Rocket build as well. So yeah, if you're going to do something, especially with cars, do it, build it, record it post it don't leave it because the rust devils will come and explode all of the cards so anyway that's my little rant done uh hope you enjoyed the build like i said cheers for watching thanks guys i'm out of here bye